Blessed be our followers. My name is Jure. Today with me on the other side of this online interview, a unique artist who blends danceable beats with fresh vocals, creating groovy music that keeps the party going. Known also as the remix junkie from Switzerland, I would like to work, welcome Max Rabadab. Max, hi. Hi. How are you <laughs> Thanks doing? for having me. <laughs> thank you for your time. Uh, how are you doing? I just uh, finished work, um, but uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm happy and glad uh, that I'm invited to play uh, in Ljubljana and uh, I'm looking really forward. Yeah, great. We'll get to that, but first uh, a little bit about yourself. Uh, Max Rabadab, uh, why did you pick uh, that name for your stage name? <laughs> Well, uh, I was young and I uh, just needed a name. And if maybe someone knows my old logo, uh, it kind of uh, reminds people of the logo of Max Havelar. Do you know Max Havelar? Mm, it sounds familiar, but at the moment... <laughs> it's like a, a fair trade label known from bananas and stuff. And uh, yeah, at that time I, I was uh, buying a lot of uh, stuff from them and somehow I, I it came to my mind when I saw the logo, like uh, Max Havelan, Max Rabadab. And then I also took the, the logo and switched it into a, because on the logo it's, it's like a, a figure uh, wearing bananas on, uh, its head and uh, I changed it to to a headphone and like the the hand is going up like a DJ. Nice. So uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> what about they call you remix junkie? Do you know uh, where that came from? Do you know who give that gave that uh, nickname to you or? No, um, actually I gave it to myself uh, on my own because. Um, I really uh, always uh, was in love with the uh, remixing and, and, and doing remixes like uh, switching tunes uh, and, and put it in on another context. And uh, But at that time, I didn't want to call myself like Remix King or Remix God. So uh, I just knew, I, I didn't know if I'm good or not, but I knew um, I'm really chunking after the remix. <laughs> you probably know uh, by now that you are. Um, you're uh, like professional, well, you got involved more seriously with music uh, by uh, being a part of Riot Sound System, I think in 2008, if my information is all right. Oh, no, 2004. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, four years before. Uh, but where did you find your passion for music? I mean, you have to have some passion before starting your sound system journey. Uh, even during my childhood, I mean, in our living room, there was always uh, music playing. Like my mother was listening a lot of uh, funk um, and also like James Brown. Um, and also a lot of Michael Jackson and also Bob Marley. So uh, there was always music in our living room and also my father uh, who gave me the first uh, Tupac CD to listen and, and stuff like the Fuji's and yeah, I was always influenced with music when I was young, so. After that uh, period with the Riot Sound System, like I mentioned in 2008, nine. You went solo. Uh, what made you make th made that step? Why did you decide that you want to pursue this alone and not part of the crew? Well, it wasn't really uh, like uh, uh, from one day to the other decision. It was more like a progress because the other members of Riot Sound uh, were focusing uh, um, on other stuff in life as it goes and. Um, I was really determined uh, to 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 focus on that music thing, and because it gave me a lot of energy, and I was uh, I really wanted to to push it forward. And um, yeah, back then I was playing a lot um, on my own, 
solo, but still under the name of Riot Sound. And then it just, um, yeah, some people were putting me on the flyer as a solo artist and it started like this. And also I was back then, I was also starting to, to put out the remixes and mashups. And uh, then the people knew the name Max Robert up. So um, it was just natural. Um, so then till now, what would you say it had the most significant impact on your uh, musical journey, musical style? That's hard to say. Uh, I mean, it was always a, a big impact to, to, to reason and meet with artists uh, of any kind. I mean, artists, I'm saying like singers i mean back in 2004 until 2010 i guess uh, we were also organizing a lot of uh, concerts in my hometown and we we had a lot of uh, artists um, playing in our venue we had double play sessions at our studio um, and also after that period i was uh, focusing on promoting parties with uh, guest DJs from the UK, from Germany and so on. So I was always meeting with other artists, uh, producers. And for me, that was always making an impact. I mean, yeah, as, as life goes, uh, you discuss with people, you meet people, you, you having a good time with people, yeah. Uh, we could say that people then had the most significant impact. Yeah. <laughs> yeah of course. Um, you're known by your uh, remixes, uh, mashups, uh, different style of genres and everything. How do you decide which tune you want to mix together? How does your this process look like? Um, yeah, it depends. I mean, if we are talking about mashups, um, you can imagine in my studio, I have like a, a huge uh, Ableton Live project where I have thousands of rhythms, beats, uh, which I like. And on the other hand, I also have thousands of a cappellas, vocals, um, which I also like. So from time to time, I'm just going to this project and spending time like uh, trying ideas you know and sometimes there is a particular vocal i really just discovered and i want to put it on a, a, a nice new beat so yeah it depends it's not i just have this huge project and ableton life is really uh it's, it's really nice for that kind of stuff because it's all in sync. So you can just try and try and try and then you have this one also matching and then I'm finalizing. Sometimes I have like hundreds of idea still in that project and I'm never really finalizing. Probably one musician that doesn't have uh, this system. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um... Do all the remixes and all your work come like spontaneously or do some artists like uh, reach you, come on, Max, can you do a remix for me or can you mash up my song with somebody? Uh, for the mashups, I do it on my own, I would say. Uh, but uh, for official remixes, there are sometimes artists sending me vocals or um, also like labels or producers um, who have an upcoming single who, who tell me, uh, hey, um, we're putting together a release. Could you uh, or, or would you like to, to produce a remix for it? So it's, uh, yeah, it depends. But uh, it's sometimes I also for, for, I don't know if you know, the, my series called Remix Chunky EP. Uh, I have two releases out yet. And for this one, I was asking people I know uh, if I could get the vocals like uh, Dread Squad or, or uh, Weedy G or people I know, and, and I just asked them. Well, but you're not only uh, remixing and mash in, you also have a solo uh, uh, producing album, uh, Style and Passion, which came mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. 
uh, was it a huge step to go from uh, playing with other people's music to creating yours? Uh, not really. I mean, for me, I, I, I was always producing and recording in the studio um, all that years. Um, but for me, it was a big step to to really say, okay, now I'm focusing on doing a, a, a whole producer album. That was, um, I mean, when I was younger and I, when I started to build my own uh, first my first rhythms, I was always I was always dreaming of this, and uh, like back in when was it 2016, I guess. I started to to more and more uh, focusing on producing and also focusing on recording um, Jamaican artists. So then that 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 idea was coming up uh, really to to put out an album, and that for me personally was was a big step. Yeah, yeah of course. I mean, uh, on it we can find names like Luton Faya, Scaramucci, Luciano, Gabby Rams. I mean straight huge artist uh where did you get them all like where did you get all the links with these giants uh it depends i mean for example scaramucci um i knew already from the shows we did uh in in my hometown and as it goes i mean he he was also uh, uh um some years he, he was also living in switzerland so we knew knew each other already, and on the other hand, uh, like Luciano, for example, I I just got a, a link from someone who was uh, living in Jamaica, and uh, who was with him in the studio, and uh, like this, I could uh, record him on that rhythm, because I knew that the rhythm was all already existing and. When I got that chance to record him, I knew that rhythm must match his voice, you know, and it was perfect to me. Nice. Uh, before we go to upcoming event in here in Slovenia, are there any uh, unfulfilled uh, musical wishes or artists you wish to collaborate in future? Of course, there are always. I would say. I mean. To mention names, I would say BT Signal would uh, would therefore be uh, be uh, uh, an aim to 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 work with, but uh, yeah, time will tell. Well, as we mentioned a couple of times, twenty uh, fifth of uh, November you're coming to Ljubljana, Ljubljana vibes uh, reggae party, uh, but that's not your first time here in Slovenia, right? Uh, playing wise, it's my first time in Slovenia. Oh, because I found some I've... names in Cooper that you were on a lineup, like Foot. No, not... Yeah, but but is isn't Cooper in in already in in Croatia? No, it's Slovenia. Ah, it's Slovenia. Okay, yeah. then. <laughs> okay, no problem. Then uh, you know better than me, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course, it's my job to have these informations. Uh, but never mind. Uh. 25th of November, Ljubljana, what can we expect from you? Um, to be honest, uh, I even don't know yet as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I mean, my DJ sets are, are always uh, very spontaneous because, you know, I'm, I'm collecting music since over 20 years now and uh, I have a wide range when it comes to Jamaican bass music, I would say. I mean, I can play a straight jungle set, uh, dubstep. I can play strictly hip hop. I can play dancehall. I can play Afrobeat. So for me, it's, um, yeah, I will take it for from the moment. That's what I love from uh, DJs to just feel the vibe and then see what they're going to exactly. play. Great. Uh, how does this uh, link up, uh, link uh, came up? How did you? Why are you coming to Ljubljana? Where did you meet Ljubljana guys? Through how come? Um, what was it? I think it was a message on Facebook uh, from Lionshine who who uh, 
was asking like, hey, would you like to come? And for me, it was uh, always, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm always on because I love to, to meet new people. I love to travel through music. So, uh, of course, if, if I'm available, then I'm always in. <laughs> nice. Looking forward to it. Uh, if there is any followers that are looking, listening to this, depends where you are. Uh, with us at the moment, uh, what would you re recommend? Like one of your projects, they need to listen to get to know what Max Rabadaf is all about. <laughs> um, there are really uh, many to mention, but uh, one good link is always my SoundCloud. If uh, anyone knows SoundCloud, it's like SoundCloud slash uh, Max minus Rabadaf, um, because there, I'm always putting up my music, whether it's uh, official releases or also if it's mashups, uh, remixes, all my mixtapes are up there. So that's always a good address. Nice. Uh, what was the latest artist uh, you're working on a project? What remix mashup? Um, it was... Um, Actually, it was an official release I did with uh, some longtime friends uh, called Ragabund. They're from uh, Germany. And uh, it's a single called uh, I Love You So. It's a uh, song in Spanish and English. It's already out? Yeah, it's already out, out on Spotify or wherever you want. Need to check it out. Uh, any notable projects you're preparing? We need to take a uh, close uh, eye on. Any new albums, remixes, mixtapes? Um, yeah, of course. I'm always having ideas about new mixtapes. So um, I, uh, I'm forcing myself to, to really put it out because I just um, recently I changed uh, my DJing setup to, to Serato after like over 15 years uh, playing with Tractor because of that new uh, Stems feature. And I'm really going crazy with it uh, because it takes that whole uh, mashup thing to a life uh, level. So I'm really forcing myself to to put together. I'm, I mean, at the moment, I'm putting together a lot of uh, live mashups for my DJ sets. But I also focusing on doing a, a mixtape like Afrobeats, Dancehall and all mashed up together. So, yeah. Well, Max, thank you for your time. I had fun. I'm looking forward to seeing you on 25th of November here in Ljubljana, Gala Hala, Ljubljana Vibes Reggae Party. Thank you for your time and see you in Ljubljana. Yeah, thank you too. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye.